Hello, baby. Guess what these motherfuckers then did at Burger King? These motherfuckers then took away from the motherfucking Whopper. Heavens to Betsy. The Whopper. It's America's most beloved burger and has been for the past 50 years. But how do you prove love? Burger King decided to prove it by taking the Whopper away for one day in one town to see what would happen. What happened was the Whopper freakout. To help pull off this social experiment, Academy Award-nominated documentarian Henry Alex Rubin was brought on. We're not doing this to be mean. We're doing this just to prove a point. A town was chosen in middle America where the only BK would serve as the stage for this day of deprivation. It was rigged with cameras inside and out. Trained actors posing as BK employees explained this new reality to unsuspecting patrons. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Andrew. I'm the manager of this particular Burger King. I apologize for the delay. I do need to let everyone know that the Whopper has been discontinued forever. Would this elaborate scheme prove that people really loved the Whopper or just piss them off? As it turns out, oh my God, they discontinued the Whopper. It did both. I need my Whopper. How about that? Whopper? <laughs> <laughs> like, that's it. Like. Unfortunately, we no longer have Whoppers. You cannot be serious. Is this a joke? I want your manager at the window when I get there. To push the experiment further, we substituted a competitor's alternative for the Whopper. It's supposed to be a Whopper. Okay, that's a Wendy's burger. This ruse was not well received. I hate McDonald's. I hate Wendy's. A roving reporter, armed with a local newspaper corroborating the story, was hired to capture people's candid reactions to the discontinuation of the Whopper. The, the Burger King doesn't have the Whopper. They might, they might as well change their name to Burger Queen. Yeah. What are you going to put on the logo now? <laughs> yeah. Home of the whatever we got. Video was cut into 15 and 30 second TV spots, and drive through audio was turned into radio ads all of which led viewers to WhopperFreakOut.com, where a streaming eight-minute documentary of the experiment could be found. Burger King's Whopper Freakout campaign is pulling the highest advertising recall numbers ever logged by IAG Research. Well, this started out as a stunt, but now it's become an Internet sensation. Some folks began contributing to the hype with homemade freakout parodies. You just continued the Whopper? Oh, my God. No burgers here anymore. What? Hey, how may I help you? Hey, young man, let me get a Whopper with no cheese. You mean you ain't got no Whoppers? This ain't no Burger King without no goddamn Whoppers. That's the best-selling goddamn product y'all got. Y'all ain't got no motherfucking Whoppers. It is said that absence makes the heart grow fonder. But as Whopper Freakout proved, if you love something enough, absence actually makes you freak out. I just want my Whopper. I just want my triple Whopper. I want my Whopper. Get me a Whopper. Okay. It was clear that people really wanted their Whoppers. And we had just the guy to give it to them.